Hello everyone, we will continue the topic lock objects and in the previous video we covered the various lock moves. Now what we will do, we will take a requirement now and we will start with the practical part of the lock objects. Yes, whenever we will do the practical of lock object, yes, I will say little bit knowledge of function module and little bit knowledge of programming is required. But no problem. If you do not have the knowledge of this function module and a BAP programming as of now, no problem. Yes, anyways, in the future playlist, those topics are there. You can learn from those playlists. But I will explain in such a way so that you can, with that limited knowledge, at least you can do the practical for the same. Now, now what is our requirement? This is our order header table. We all created the order header table. This is our order header table. Now, what is our requirement? We will develop a program. That program will change the payment mode of the order numbers. Just understand the requirement. What is the requirement? I will develop a program. That program will change the payment mode of the order numbers. Suppose if I will give order number three, I can change the payment mode of order number three through that program. If I will give order number 10, I can change the payment mode of order number 10 through that program. Now just see, we are changing, we are changing the data, we are changing the data. So at that time, locking should be there, should be there. Suppose I'm changing the payment mode of order number one to D. So no other user can change the payment mode of order number one at the same time this is our requirement if other user is changing the payment mode of order number two then there is no problem at all because locking means multiple users cannot change the same data at the same time and yes in case of change locking should always always be there if locking will not be there, I will give D, other user will give N, then the database will confuse. It has to go for D or it has to go for N. So locking should be there. If I will get a control first, yes, my thing will execute first and other will get a error. If other user will get a control first, then in that case, I will get a error, yes. So locking should be there. Now we will start the practical based upon this requirement. Now, whenever you want to create a lock object, the transaction code is SC11. We will go to SC11 transaction code. We will choose the radio button lock object. Now, remember, whenever we will create a lock object, the first prefix is E. First prefix is E. Why I am using the word prefix? I am not using that first letter will be E or something. Yes, sir. I am using the word prefix E. Because anyways, whenever you are creating your own things, the first, first letter should be Z or Y. So in case of lock object, the lock object name should start with EZ or EY. See, 
customer specific object whatever we are creating the first letter is always always z or y but in case of lock object you need to use the prefix e before that prefix e if many times people will try to create by e a or e b or e c that is never never possible because first letter should be z or y they think okay lock object name should start with e we gave e after that we can give anything that is never never possible e is just a prefix prefix compulsory prefix after that you need to use z or y that is compulsory otherwise system will give you error so lock object name should start with e z or e y if i will go for the theory lock object name starts with prefix e prefix e and whenever i want to create my own lock object the name should start with e z or e y so never create with e a e b e c that is not possible now we will create a lock object first then we will use in our program though so what is the name e z suppose i will give e z underscore order you can give e y underscore order also it is totally totally your wish i will go for create i will give the short description log object for order now i will go to tables i will pass the name of my order header table this is my order header table i will pass the name of my order header table this is the table now we already covered lock modes see you are able to see so many lock modes but from the customer perspective from our perspective we will always always go for these three lock modes what is first one you will remember shared lock or read lock write lock or exclusive lock enhanced write lock or exclusive lock not cumulative so whenever we will create a lock object we need to choose the lock modes suppose i will start with shared lock now i will go to lock parameter have you seen when i click on to lock parameter the primary key of the table is automatically appearing what is the primary key of the table order number order number is the primary key of the table and just remember just think whenever you are locking something you always need to lock the primary key primary key suppose i want to change the details of order number 1 it means i should lock what order number 1 what is one one is the primary key order number is the primary key so that other users cannot change the same order number so in the lock parameter the order number is automatically come now i will go for save i will save this as a local object and i will activate the lock object so my lock object is active and as of now i used which particular mode shared mode so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with a requirement that we will change the payment mode of the respective orders of the order header table and we know multiple users cannot change the same data at the same time 
So we will achieve this requirement through flow object. We have not started with the program. So firstly, we started with the creation of the log object. Whenever you are creating log object, always, always use a prefix E. Log object name should start with E. After that, you need to give Z or Y. Never give E, A, E, B, E, C because customer specific object always starts with Z or Y. In case of lock object, we use the prefix E. After that, we provided the table name. We choose one lock mode and in the lock parameter, primary key of the table is automatically coming and we activated the lock object. In the next video, we will continue the same to same technical. So that's it in this video. Thank you.